Let's talk about Zion Clark. Do you guys know who Zion is? Do you know who Zion is? Well, Zion was recently on the Ellen DeGeneres show this past week, and that's why I'm talking about this. I thought Zion is a great inspirational wrestler, and I love to talk about these inspiring wrestling stories on the Fanco Wrestling Show because these show guys that, you know, maybe they have a little bit of a handicap or they, you know, can't do as well as other guys, you know, on the surface. However, these are inspiring guys that push the limit. And they show everybody else that, yes, I can do that too. And that's just what Zion did. So if you see from my thumbnail, you may know Zion Clark is actually, he was born without legs. This is a disease called caudal regression syndrome. And one out of 100,000 kids every year gets this. Uh, and, you know, he was born without legs, unfortunately. But when he was around seven or eight years old, uh, he, he had a coach, he had somebody come to him and say, you know, you should think about wrestling. And, you know, a lot of people would think that's laughable because how are you going to wrestle without legs? Uh, well, I'll give you one example is one guy who won a national title without one leg is Anthony Robles, uh, who beat Matt McDonough for a national title some years ago and is actually a commentator and a lot of the national, at the national finals level right now. But Zion born without legs, wrestled seven, uh, started when he was seven and eight, and he's from Ohio. So all you Ohio wrestlers out there, this is for you. Uh, he wrestled at Massillon High School, and he just graduated wrestling in college now, actually, which is pretty exciting at Kent State Branch Campus. Now, what was really exciting, I think where a lot of this inspiration comes in, is that you know Zion had a tough life as a child. Uh, he was Beat. His mom was on drugs, and, and you know, just a little bit into the story. From what I understand, it's it, it was tough, but wrestling gave back to him, and you know, it showed him that he can be better than all of that. And, and I don't want to speak for Zion. I'm just I'm just saying, you know, from what I've understood from him, and his senior year in high school, you know, he he had won matches in high school before, but his senior year, he came in and he won 18 straight matches, was undefeated, 18 straight matches, and then he ended his season 33 and 15 and qualifying for the state tournament in Ohio. What a feat for Zion. You know, I, I gotta clap my hands for him. Phenomenal. Then he went on to wrestle in college. He wasn't done there. He went on to wrestle in college. He wrestled his freshman year, uh, D1 at NCWA. So not the NCAA because uh, Kent State, uh, what's their name? T Kent State Tuscaraguas. That's the, that's the crazy name. Uh, of course, Kent State is a D1 school, but this branch campus is a NCWA school. He wrestled 125 pounds and he has built upper body and, you know, he has that little bit of an advantage because he can be built upper body, although he doesn't have any legs, you know, that can be seen as an advantage and disadvantage um, on the wrestling mat. You know, how are you going to take him down if he doesn't have legs? Uh, but, you know, Zion found a way around it on his end. And he was great on Ellen. It's always great to see wrestlers on these talk shows on, you know, make it big in the news for good stories. Not like that story from a few months ago when the one wrestler had to, the ref made him shave his hair off. You know, that's wrestling making bad headlines. This is wrestling making good headlines. And if you guys want to check it out, there's actually a documentary on Zion on Netflix right now. It's very short. It's like 11 minutes long or something. I watched it. came out like last summer and it just details his story a little bit. I really recommend that you guys check that out. And one of the big goals Zion wants to do is he wants to wrestle in the Olympics, in the Paralympics, uh, as well as in track. And, you know, good for him. I think it's good that he's setting goals high and Congrats to Zion for a phenomenal career thus far.